So, Discord.py is dead. Now hold up, hold up. Why are you making a video on it now? Well, this is the internet. Something happens and you, you receive word after 10 minutes. That is stale news. Compared to that, me making a video about it almost a week later simply means that I'm very, very late. Now, almost every bot developer or every Discord.py developer out there knows that Discord.py has been declared dead very recently. You can actually go and read a gist about it that the owner made on GitHub. There, they mentioned that they'll be stepping down as the maintainer of the project, and since no one is interested in maintaining it, the project has been um, declared dead. Now, the reason is why. Discord.py was a very, very good library. Like, almost all Python bot developers used Discord.py. So why did that project die? Well, there are a few reasons why the owner has stopped the development of Discord.py. You can read those in the gist, the link will be given in the description. But one of the most notable reasons is slash commands. Slash command is a very new feature uh, to the Discord API which was made specifically for bots. This feature allows you to execute commands on the bot directly via HTTP or WebSocket. Before slash commands were a thing, the traditional way would be for bots to execute commands by listening for um, message creation events through the WebSocket and then parse the command um, th through the message content. But after the release of slash commands, Discord has been slowly hinting that they will disallow the uh, message creation intent so that no bot can listen for new messages, which simply means that Discord wants all bots to move over to use slash commands. Now, what happens next? What happens to you, a, disc a bot developer who uses Discord.py or someone who is learning Discord.py? Well, there are, um, you know, there are uh, two choices which you can you know, take or two options which you can choose. Either move to another programming language like JavaScript and use their maintained Discord libraries, example, Discord.js or you can use other Python Discord libraries. Now, after the demise of Discord.py, a lot of people have been taking initiatives to make their own Python Discord libraries. There's also an active fork of Discord.py maintained by some other people, and that library is called PyCore. You can try that out if you're a big fan of Discord.py and don't want to, you know, learn the implementation of another library. But I don't fancy PyCore a lot, so recently I have been using another Python Discord library that is even better than Discord.py in some ways, and that is called Hikari. Hikari has been in development for about a year now, even before Discord.py's demise. Even though it is still in alpha version, it can, it can be used to make functional and perfectly working bots. My bot Shikamaru in case, you if, in case you don't know about it, was written in Hikari and it got verified by Discord. And it is not only my bot, but a few other bots written in Hikari got verified as well. So there's certainly no, da uh, no doubt that uh, there's no doubt that Hikari can be used to um, make functional bots. Uh, Hikari is not very similar to Discord.py to be honest, but it's also similar to it in a few ways. But you can't expect everything to be the same way as you did or like, you know, coded it in Discord.py. Its insights work very differently than Discord.py, but by using third-party command handlers, you can actually make the Hikari experience feel much like Discord.py. But I can actually make a whole video about Hikari and why I use it, but that would be very long. So I don't want to cover all of that in this video. The conclusion, well, what happens now? So the current version of Discord.py, um, it still works and it will work unless Discord adds breaking API changes, which they will soon. So it is best to move to another actively maintained library um, for Python or just move to a whole different programming language and use their libraries. But I don't think a lot of people would actually do that. 
Also, I would recommend that you take a look at slash commands because Discord has been hinting that they want to move all bots to slash commands, which I really don't like the sound of it. But that's basically for that's basically it for this video. Sorry for being late in making this. I was away on a holiday and I just came back yesterday. And all the links for the stuff mentioned in the video will be in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. Anyways, have a good one. Peace out.